We're staying on top of that deadly jet crash that caused a fireball on a Florida highway. The victims who were on that jet headed for Naples and then Fort Lauderdale have now been identified. And those who died were actually from South Florida. Hmm, and Local 10 Samir Nefsi joins us live on the ground in Naples with the update from Collier County Sheriff's Deputy Samir. Just an awful crash. Larry, and just truly horrifying, especially for those on board and those commuting out here along I-75. So we know five people were aboard, three surviving. Sadly, both pilots dying. That according to the sheriff here in Naples. But go ahead and take a look behind me. You can see quite an active scene still. We have NTSB and F. AA investigators working to determine exactly what went wrong just miles before landing here in Naples. Aviation investigators back on site of Friday's fatal jet crash. Our cameras capturing the charred Challenger 600 suspended in the air as crews work to remove the aircraft from along I-75 near Naples. Charred remains scattered as char marks could be seen along the barrier wall. It landed on a car too. This as the Collier County Sheriff's Office has released the names of both victims and survivors of the ill-fated flight. We now know 50-year-old pilot Edward Murphy and second in command 65-year-old Ian Hoffman died in the crash. Hoffman's son taking to social media with this GoFundMe discussing his father's death. Chris writing his father had over 40 years of experience with 25,000 hours of piloting. Adding his father was the one to sound the alarm with air traffic control reporting the dual engine jet had engine failures. Uh, we're clear to land, but we're not going to make the runway. Uh, we've lost both engines. Riding online, his father calmly, quote, tried to save the passengers and crew in the face of a desperate emergency of losing both engines at low altitude and harrowing accounts from drivers witnessing the crash along the rush hour plagued interstate. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, man. Buddy, y'all sitting there. Miraculously, three of the five aboard surviving. <laughs> Crew member 23-year-old Sidney Bosman, 35-year-old passenger Aaron Baker, and 23-year-old Audra Green, all taken to a Naples hospital and treated for their injuries. And back out here live. So we know the crash remains under investigation again. NTSB and FAA investigators on scene here. Uh, as for the southbound lanes of I-75, it will remain closed from mile marker 111 to 105. We're live in Naples. I'm Samir Nafsi, Local 10 News. Awful details on an awful story. Thank you very much, Samir.